Hey guys, it's Clint and Shell and Mom. Hi. Mom got her Mother's Day gift finally today. Her, her skateboard. Yeah, her yeah, skateboard. I'm so disappointed I was all set. <laughs> so, you know, she's pretty excited about that. <laughs> Tell them what oh, it was. Yeah. Oh, you guys don't know. We got mom uh, hearing aids. And they just came today. We ordered them like two weeks ago, and they just got here. So, yeah, we're pretty excited about it. So, uh and I are both hurting. Uh, I, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the video today. I'm going to work on another cover. I'm going to do a pinwheel quilt. I've been wanting to do a piece to quilt cover for a while. And I had... Um, I think it was oh I went out so to the, find the fabric for the, the other though. journal inside and I happened to see this fabric there's a bunch in there actually it's we got I don't know four four different ones that's similar and so it's not and there it's several different I you know so I went ahead and I cut some squares out for the pinwheels and um, also got this yellow and that's going to be the border. Also I'm going to put it in between the pinwheel blocks. They're not going to be very big blocks. Uh, I just really wanted to um, uh, when I saw this white this is the one so I had to cut, this was a bigger panel, a bigger strip than this one, so um, that's what I did. You guys know I, you guys know by now I sew with the seam guide, and I'm doing half squares, and I can't, I don't sew very straight obviously. And uh, there's a few ways of doing your squares, your half squares. And this is the one way I choose to do it since I have a seam guide on it. This works the best for me. So I'm going to glue them all down first before. Sorry, I'm, I'm, my back's really getting. So if I wince, I apologize. I'm moving really bad today. But yeah, so this is the way I do my half squares. Like I said, there's several different ways to do them, but this is the best way for me. And you know, here I'm not here to tell you how to do your things. You know, you gotta do it however it works for you guys. And, uh, with my seam seam guide, this works the best for me. So. Uh, they were two and. Seven eighths, I believe, was the size of this panel. I think that's so. That's what I cut them down to. I believe that's what it was. Yep, two and seven eighths. So, whoops, thing. But nothing else much going on. Didn't have to work today. Um, she had it was hurting really bad last night, so she took a muscle relaxer, and she was pretty tired this morning. So we went and laid down about nine o'clock. Yeah, take a nap. Yeah, shovel. I'm working in the garden. Oh yeah, we worked in the garden yesterday. Uh, we got. Oh, well, my back always hurts. But um, got zucchini, two different types of yellow squash, red warty things, which is a pumpkin. They're really neat, and they get pie pumpkin. Pie pumpkin yeah. That's what we use it as. I think you can use it as an eating pumpkin too, but I'm not sure. I'm sure. Uh, but it's a really good pie pumpkin. So, you know, we process all our own stuff. And we haven't had a garden for several years. So we always try to find one at these, sell them at like at Albertsons or stuff. Something. And I did not record the. Yeah, we didn't. She was going to record it, but she didn't. So that worked. And then we got um, broccoli and cauliflower, and um, what else was it, hon? Mm. Well, we got carrot. We had carrots, beets. Spaghetti squash. Yeah. 
So we had spaghetti squash and the red warty things. So I think that's it. Yeah, we had we started uh, kale and spinach a couple weeks ago or whenever it was. So yeah, it's starting. Looks like it's gonna start coming up. When we got up for a nap, Mr. Pardner was laying in Grandma's arms. He's taken to Grandma, actually. And a lot of times he'll... You know, Pard's my cat, so... But yeah, he was just, just sawing him off in Grandma's arms. It was so sweet. He really has taken to Grandma, so that's been nice for him to have. Because I'm usually the only one that ever holds him, really. I don't think you really hold him very all, very much. So, once in a blue moon. I don't know how big my strips are going to be as far as the yellow. So, let's get these sewn real quick. Hey, I get to use my thing. My thing my honey bunny got me. That is so cool. Whoever thought about that was a genius. I did get me a new ruler. And uh, I'll have to show you why if I remember. But I got a five and a half inch uh, Creative Grids. Creative Grids is my absolute 100% favorite uh, quilting ruler. I like it. The lines are small enough. There's nothing in there like yellow to get in the way. It does have anti-slip slide stuff. Uh, but I also use my grip, spray my stuff on the back of up my, my rulers. So, but yeah, I'll show you the, it's a project I've had for, I don't know how many years, it's a long, long time, so, trying to work on it as much as I can, I'm not worried about the color, sorry, I hit the light, uh, sorry, I kind of rearranged our thing, so I could have the camera moved a little bit, so we're just going to. Um, leave it there, so. Okay, still got, like I said, I got my seam guide on there. I thought about even doing a quarter inch seam instead of a, or an eighth inch seam instead of a quarter inch, but I don't think I'm going to worry about it. So. Hope everyone's day is wonderful. It is beautiful. It's warm here. Um, I know when I went to go to drop a check off at the phone cup, my car says 79, so. It says 89. It says 89 on my weather station, but I'm not 100% sure that's accurate. It is in the winter time. I, I think in the summer, I don't think it's quite as accurate. I want to hopefully. Good Lord, good Lord willing, I'll have the money to buy a um, new weather station. Mine's just been, doesn't work any, very well anymore. I bought, well, I broke the wind gauge on my original one, and I went to the same thing, bought, I happened to find one on eBay that had, was new, and but it still hasn't really worked very well, so. You guys know in the winter, we love our winters, you know, uh, I love watching the temp, the wind chill, and the temperature. And, um, so, kind of. Um, I got my three chained, and uh, instead of cutting my, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull a little extra out, and um, so. The nice thing about chain piecing is you don't waste as much thread. So, that's one reason why I do it. It's just easier. It's kind of nice when, you know, I get in the groove of the sewing machine and it's kind of nice to keep going and not have to pull each piece out and to cut the thread. So, but no, it's a nice day here. Oh, that's I think this one may have to come back. I don't know. It looked almost like I went too far at the end. I'll have to look and see. But kind of looked like it pushed up on my seam got a little bit. So. 
I'll have to look at it. Good thing is it doesn't take me long to rip the stitches out. I have my um I have my see my thing here. So you just go like this. Oh, honey. What? <laughs> How nice is that, guys? That is so cool. Oh, you cut them? I cut them. It worked. Good. How nice is that? <sighs> well, I mean, it appears to me that it's a quarter inch seam. But then it also doesn't look like it right there. It looks like it's less. Huh. Mom. Oh, wait. No, nope. it was just the way I was looking at it. It's fine. I mean, I think it's a quarter inch seam. Well, that one isn't. A, it's off just a little bit. It was a little bit more than a quarter. I don't think that will matter, so we'll just go with it. I just remember. Yeah, that worked really nice. This, I have another one. I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Let me change this out. I messed up my, well, somehow we used my magnet for something. And I don't remember what it was. And it had my seam guide on it. And I have two of the guides. And I think that. I grabbed the one because it was in my thing. I think Sophia or something was playing with it. I don't remember. So, when I talked to our friends at the post office, I had asked for prayers for Lorene and Scott, her hubby. hubby. His cancer uh, spread, metastasized or whatever it is. Uh, it's really bad. I guess he's having a Botox injection. I guess he's been having horrible cramps in his bladder so he's got a catheter is that what it's called yeah. catheter and i guess they're leaking it so they're going to give a botox injection i never even heard of such a thing yet. i thought that was just a, for wrinkles and stuff <laughs> i didn't realize i knew they did it for necks when you have like a, um well, i'm serious i didn't know they did it for anything else yeah that's what um they do sometimes like the injections for your I know that's what I said but we're ta I'm talking about the bladder that's well, what like your muscles yeah like that's that. just surprised me it's for a bladder because that's so internal where your neck really so they put that poison everywhere yeah so yeah botulism poison but so please pray for Lorene and Scott you know it's bad he is I'm gonna tell you right now he is one tough SOB and that's what me and Trina were talking about because a lot of um, I think people would have give up by now because it's been really bad and I guess he just lost his dad two weeks ago so it's they're not you know it's been a bad time for him a lot of crap has happened so 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 my grandma, you didn't go get any chocolate out of the refrigerator? What? There's chocolate in the refrigerator. Oh, really? Top shelf. I got it at Farmer's oh, Telephone. Okay. Well, chocolate they always out. make us take some. <laughs> With the Lorene's there, she says, take a handful, Clint. Take a bag. Take a bag. It's funny. If you guys don't know, that's who we used to locate for until they got a new manager. And apparently, yeah, we don't go along. But I love the ladies there. They're just, just wonderful. So. The new one there? Nope, she was. Son of a biscuit. I'm glad I didn't run out anytime. Hey guys, I'll be right back. I gotta do my bobbin. I wonder how many I did without it. Well, that one doesn't have one. That's funny, we were just talking about that too. Oh. Hey, I got one full one. 
Yes, now I... <laughs> oh, that is too funny. I am, hon. I'll be right back. Okay, I got it threaded. Let's see this one. That still does not look like a quarter of an inch to me. That is not right. Well, since I've already... Oh, that would be why. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see here. Turn it does, you know, I'm not doing it. Sign. So yeah, so we, that was Mom's Mother's Day present. What's your hearing aids? So she was so excited. She's been talking about them for a long time, and we ordered them two weeks ago. They were really slow in getting here, and so she keeps saying she needs them. And it's, you don't realize how hard it's been trying not to tell her. <laughs> it has. You know, because you don't want her to be, you know, excited, waiting for him to get here, and they take forever. But, you know, so she was really excited. She was going to record it, but then she decided not to worry about it. Yeah, she brought a gag box for it, but it just didn't seem to work. She didn't. So there's my thing. There's my... Boy, that's nice, isn't it? The dunk, dunk. Hey, that works pretty darn good. I tell you, I like that. Huh? Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I don't remember the last time that I've got to spend Mother's Day with Mom. Do you, you on? Twelve years ago. Twelve years ago. Eleven years, at least. Eleven. Yeah. Wow. Probably after that, though. I mean, she'd probably go home. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, so. It should be nice having her home. We have Thoroughly enjoyed it, haven't we, babe? I am truly blessed to have a mom that's... Yeah, that I want to spend time with. You know, I was telling mom, you know, I, I said, I owe mom for so much. You know, mom's the one that got me into photography. She got me into quilting and all this stuff, you know? And I'm just so truly blessed to... Huh? Hey, there's another one. Sorry, we got a wasp flying around in here. Nope, that's a honeybee. Oh. Yeah. That's a big one. Oh, huh. 
Uh -huh. Sorry, it was, it was the honeybee this time. That was one of those, like you showed me at the one A bumblebee? Bumblebee. I guess it was a honeybee. Well, let me iron these. I got my iron right here. So. Hi, Gracie. Side me for right now. Together after I get my okay okay guys this is how I do it so you sew around all four edges normally I use my rotary mat but I don't have it well I do but it's uh, got my project on right now so um, when we went to Hobby Lobby when we had to go to Farmington I, they did have um, uh, this company who was this oh old, old or whatever they had a, a rotary mat there so I'm trying not to move this so but with the rotary mat it makes life a lot easier I uh, know you're not supposed to cut near you to you. So, told yourself. Okay. Here we go. Those are four pieces. So one block each. I'm trying to do this to where I can won't have a mess. I really want to cut my finger. I never hear the end of it. Right, Gwendolyn? <laughs> right. Right. What's on my mat? Or my ruler? Yeah, this is that quilter select ruler, and I do like it being non stick, but I'm not a big fan of the color of. Oh, I moved it. Dang. I knew that was going to happen. Um, makes it a little bit harder to see through, and I really like That's why I think I like the creative grids, it's so clear. You know, the other, I think it's the same one that makes this matte. You know, they have yellow on their rulers. And just don't like that one bit. So we gotta go to Farmington tomorrow. Yay, not really. I don't wanna go. It's for the company, our fiber company. They need a conduit located. So it's actually not for a different person, it's for the company. So, you know. I wouldn't go if I didn't have to. I don't just don't like New Mexico. I really don't. And the roads. Well, I can't normally you know our roads are much better on the road highway we take you can um you know just by even if you're not looking if you're just riding you'll know when you hit new mexico but there's three miles now in colorado that's just horrible i mean bad and it sucks <laughs> it really really sucks they got these big huge dips and my back don't like those big huge dips at all and it's miserable but usually it's but I know they have been working on that um, road cats have been using my stupid mat as a scratching post I tell you I don't know why this one doesn't stick. Why it just slides on, on a roll. Okay, guys. Okay. I'm excited.
excited to see these turn into a pin wheel. Pin wheel. Uh, let me see if I can plug this in without messing up my angle. Okay. So I'm heating my iron back up. These are not going to be very big. Holy smokes. Well, it takes four of those. So. What do you think, babe? Ooh, I love it. Mom, what do you think? Oh, yeah. That's going to be neat, isn't it? Yeah. I was telling my old... Two uh, inches or... Well, I don't know, Mom. I never measured it. I just... I, no, I doubt it. No, it's... It's not even... Eighth over an inch. Oh, eighth over a half, so oh. five. Would that be five eighths? Two and five eighths? No, one and five eighths. One and five eighths, something like that. Four eighths, somewhere around there. I don't know. It ain't much. But the reason why is wow. I could only, this white was only so wide, so I had to cut down the red to fit the white. So yeah. that's why it's that way. I like it. I think it's going to be neat. Yeah, it is. It's going to be neat as a pinwheel, that's for sure. But I was telling them I owe you for getting me into quilting. So I owe you for getting me into quilting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you always wanted to do something. Yep. Yeah. Always had. And I think I've already paid. So we have to... Um, show you guys the um, picture I took because mom got me into photography and I truly love photography I always have I remember when I was a little kid you know mom would always take me picture taking take me photographs take me with you and yeah, oh, yeah so I, did. I, I held on to your heels your leg feet and that, you did you hear that, that? That, uh, Over a <laughs> creek, yeah, she held on to my yeah, feet, so I wouldn't <laughs> fall into the creek trying to get a picture. So. Yeah, that was that was here in Colorado, you know, long up in the mountains. Yeah. When I came out that time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun, haven't we, Mom? That was a pretty canyon in there, though. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, we did a lot of photos of that. Then. Yep. Can Mickey, spray him? Mickey would go with his little Yeah, oh, I know it. That was so much fun. Yeah, Mickey's mo is mom's she's best in her friend. 90s now. Yeah, she's in her 90s now. Matter of fact, I have an asp we have an aspen leaf that she, uh, when I lived in Norwood, she painted on the aspen leaf. We took, went over the Lone Cone Mountain the back way. And so yeah. she painted a scene on the aspen leaf yeah. and I, ha I have that in the corner mm -hmm. on the corner show so yeah She's, um, she and she was in 97 yeah now. something like that yeah well and she does she used to play music too all the time oh, she yeah, was really musical. Was musical yeah the whole family yeah it's that way yeah she yeah, the three of us, Nikki and I and, and uh, uh, me, yep. go together. Just go wherever. Yep, and just take off. Remember those one uh, place, uh, it wasn't in Wyoming, it was... Oh, was it Wyoming? No, it was, it was out east of Eaton, all, and there's that big uh, rock formation and they had those sand oh, yes. balls, remember, yeah. that would lay on the ground? Yeah. I've still, I've still got those pictures of you peeking through that big hole. Yeah. That was, yeah, yeah there that was out on the prairie. Yeah, it was on the prairie, and it was a big, I mean, it wasn't like a huge formation. I mean, it wasn't like a size of a football field. It, I mean, no, it, wasn't it, it was big. probably the size of a house, a normal house, maybe. and But it had, would drop these little round balls out of it. And they were sand, sand, pictures, yeah, they were sandstone balls. And, oh, we yeah, were going somewhere. yeah, there were, yeah, Something. yeah. Huh. 
Honey, when's the last time you took pills? I just took Okay. Honey Bunny's really bad. We, she did a lot of sh um, shoveling. And yeah, that's really bad on her neck, so it's kind of... a helicopter earlier today we don't have no it's weird you'd think in this day and age we'd have planes flying all over you know everywhere but we just don't have planes here and it's very odd to even have helicopters every now and then some a few military but the flight looked like the flight for life flew over today don't know where it was going but I mean even single engines we just don't hear them here we just don't have them here very often. Okay, turn that off and scissors. I'll just use the small ones. Now we gotta cut the dog the dog ears off. In our case they're cat ears. Or rabbit ears, I don't know. In Shell's family they would be squirrel ears. Family, they're turkey ears. <laughs> that was a good one. Proud of you, babe. <laughs> Such a doofus, isn't she, guys? Use my big scissors for there. Monotonous, but that's okay. I can let you guys go, I suppose. And cut these all off. Or you guys can just watch me cut the ears off and yes for a minute. Doesn't take that long anyway. It'd be more <laughs> trouble than it's worth. You only have like 20 minutes before you've been on there now. Okay, I'll pause the video and you got 20 minutes left. Okay. Hi to have Shell help me. Sometimes I get a little bit discombobulated. And I want to make sure I do this right. So, this is for my blade cutter. So, I'm going to glue two together like this. So these two will be together. So Okay. And they go like this. Like this. Now Chloe didn't. He's on the grandpa's chair. It's outside, I think. I so we do that, and then these come like this. So, see now I screwed up. Well, I didn't really necessarily screwed up, but I should I should have laid. I need to lay them all out. So, let me do this real quick, because if I don't, I'm gonna get discombobulated. So. Let me make sure they're all the same. That goes this way, like so, that way, this way, this way, right, right, is that right? Around this way, is that right? That's not right, is it? Honey. Did I? Oh, Lord have mercy. What's wrong? So that would be this one. That's not right, is it? Hold on. No. Yeah, that one had to be right. This, maybe? No. You need them. No, here's what you're It's doing not wrong. right. There we go. Oh, but then this one. Okay. See what I mean? See, the, the lines all go towards, towards the, the center. center. I think is what you're okay. That one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah. Okay. So let me do this other one before I glue anything else. Oh. Thank you. So this way. This way. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. This one would go. 
this way. Nope. Whoops, this way. And that way. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, see what I mean, guys? Okay, I'm going to get these all glued up, and I'll be right back. Okay, got them all glued. So, that's what I mean. I get this combobulated sometime with directions like that. Boy, my chain piece cutter is getting up. going to get a workout on this one. Always make sure you know where your glued sign is or your well I guess with pins it wouldn't matter you'd see it obviously but when, when you glue it you don't see it as see where you have to so 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 Cubby Dean. Not perfect, but that's fine. It's gonna look nice when it's done, no matter what. And you can always come in and and I thought about it and cut your your uh, seam down after you sew it before you put them all together. That way, you don't have a huge lump in it, but it doesn't really matter. See, honey? Nice. Isn't that nice? You guys have got to get you one of those. Those are nice. Yeah, Blade Saber Thread Cutter is what it's called. So, didn't you buy it from their website? No, I got it from Amazon because the website was sold out. Oh, the website was sold out, so we was able to get it on Amazon. So, me. Okay. So now we just gotta iron them. Well, if you didn't know better, you would think that that was right there, but no, it's not. So. Okay, go ahead. I am going to spray these so we can get a crisp. Like I said, yep, water will kind of distort your fabric, so. But if you're careful, it's okay. So. so, let's see. No, nope, not the right way. It goes this way. Let's go right in the center. So, I did it that way. So, this one I need to do. This way, every point's going a different way. Yep. So just like that. So I'm going to pause the video, let me get these ironed, and then I'll be back when we're ready to join them. Okay, I got a visitor, but 
she's leaving, I guess. I don't know. Pain in the butt. Lucy Lou there. She's so cute. Okay. Hey, that ain't a scratching post. Now she's going to sit on my ironing mat. Uh, this one does look off. You can't really see it, I guess, because of the thing. But when I measured it, it's fine. So I'm not going to really... Oh, that one looks pretty bad, actually. I'll line it up when I glue it. So, let me just make sure. Yeah, that one is way off. I guess I didn't do that one. Okay. Okay, I went ahead and glued a few of them together already. I know we're getting short on time, so... Know a little bit more about the size of this once I get these glued, and then we'll figure out the uh, one. So those are done. I'll just sew those first. I need to find a different way to do my camera okay. so we had chicken fried steak well yeah chicken fried steak but we get the pork cutlets in the town just north of us they really good pork cutlets there so I think that's probably my I like them much better than a beef they're tender, you never have to worry about the gristle or anything that you get with the other. Lucy is laying on my iron mat, of course, and of course she just sneezed on it. not to catch that other cross seam and get it bent over but yeah these could definitely be trimmed down your seams so it lays a little bit flatter because it is does get a little bit bulky so I think if uh, having you know just here's, I would probably go ahead and do that cut down the seam just a little bit so fastest sewer in the world there but I can only go as fast as my oh as Lucy Lou has got my ironing pad now I guess I'm gonna have to use the small one because she's on it you know how I am I don't oh <laughs> well, look at it tell me what you think of the point oh my wow. oh this one's off Oh well, That's not worry about being off. It's off a little bit, but I'm not gonna worry about it. It turned out. I'm not gonna fret about it. It's a little bit off. So yeah, you definitely have more bulk when you're doing a piece. Of course, it depends on your. Um, now this one was, yeah, this is the one I showed Mom. I did get the points right on that. Oh, I think they turned out kind of nice, actually. I think they're kind of neat looking. Oh, Lord have mercy, guys. I did it, didn't I? reversed it. Yeah. Get a fly. 
flying geese. I reversed it. So anyway, I'm going to fix finish this one. And then I guess that's probably we'll just call it good. I'm going to get on uh, fix this one real quick and then I'll go through the yellow, figure out how wide we're going to do it. So let's just call it good here now. And then I'll be right back and we'll just do a second part. So uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for being our YouTube family. We will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Thanks Bye for visiting. Bye, guys. Love you. Love Tut you, guys. Tutzines. Bye.